What's up guys? Matthew again from Go Tips. Today I'm going to be unpackaging a polarizing filter from Snake River Prototyping. They make some of the best filters for your GoPro. And I'm also going to show you how to attach it to your camera. And I'll make a second video here soon on the comparison between with a filter and without a filter. So let's go ahead and open this up. Got an invoice with it. Don't need to see that. It's all wrapped in bubble paper. There's the blur fix adapter. And the filter. Now, just so you know, when if you want to attach the filter to your camera, you have to have some kind of an adapter, whether it be a blur fix or one that's a naked camera adapter you have to get one of these to mount the filter and just note that there's different adapters this one is for the standard housing they also have one for dive housing and they have one for a naked camera so make sure that you get the correct one for whatever mount housing that you have. It's got some O-rings in it. It's thicker. Some leashes. Let's go ahead and take this out. Got nice foam in there to keep it safe. Go ahead and get one of the O rings. The O ring, I believe, goes in here like this. Let's go ahead and attach it to the camera. Nice tight fit. Take the filter out. Be careful with the filter because it is glass. Put the O-ring in it. It's going to keep it nice and watertight. Screw it down. There you go. That's what it looks like with the filter on. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'll make a comparison video so you can see how it looks with and without the lens filter. So that's it for this video. If you like it, I'll leave a link in the description about how you can purchase one of these filters. 
And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give a thumbs up so other people can see this filter and purchase it if they like to purchase it. And I'll see you guys later. What's up guys? <clears throat> Just wanted to make a second part video to this video. And I wanted to go over some of the aspects of the blur fix adapter, the O-ring, and the filter. Now, if you want to attach the filter to your camera, you've got to have some kind of adapter, whether it be the standard housing adapter like I'm using now, the dive housing adapter, or the naked camera adapter. You're going to have to have some kind of adapter to attach the filter to the camera. Now, as far as the blur fix, you'll see a spot at the top on the back that says SRP on it. And that's going to be what you'll want to use as the top of the adapter whenever you connect it to your camera. Now I'm just going to read the aspects off of the packaging to kind of give you a little bit more of a detail about these items. The Blur Fix 3 Plus 55mm. The features are slips over, the GoPro Hero 3 or 3 Plus standard housing, precision CNC machined Delrin frame, adapt 55mm filters to your camera, option to seal the area between the camera and the filter against dirt, wind, or snow intrusion using the supplied o-rings. That's what this is for. And that's all for the blur fix. Now it does have a note that it says a seal may not form with all filters, makes, and models. So there is a chance that even though you have the o-ring in, stuff could still get inside the camera. I'll show you how to attach the o-ring in a second. Now the filter is a brand new filter. Not just for me, but for everybody. And it's kind of hard to see, but let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. It's the Snake River Prototyping 55mm CPWR and what the WR stands for on this one is water repellent. Now the filter before was just a regular polarizing filter so they modified this one a little bit. Let me zoom back out so you can see. Now I don't know about the last polarizing filter, but once you get this on your camera, if you turn the inner part of the ring, then it's able to be turned still. Where, I'm not sure, but I think the other one was just on there, and it was just stuck on there. I could be wrong though, so let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Okay, so the new filter. The product features are, and it's called a professional water repelling circular polarizer filter. The product features are durable coating that repels water, ultra thin frame designed to eliminate mechanical vignetting with SRP's GoPro filter adapters, black rimless glass, matte black super fine frosted finish knurling filter ring and polarizer adjusting ring and Japan optics and this is a 55 millimeter filter so you just want to make sure that you get the right millimeter filter for your camera because there's 52 and 55 millimeter okay and the way that you would do the o-ring is you'll just turn this over and put it inside like this and there you go now it's got a water seal it's going to be watertight and then you just screw it onto your camera just screw it on Make sure it gets nice and tight. Keep everything out. And then once you have it on your camera, as you can see, 
because of the lettering down here, you can still turn it whichever way you need to turn it to get it just right to get that sweet spot. Alright, and again, that'll do it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rate, comment, subscribe, give thumbs up so people can see this video, and I'll see you guys later.